Alrighty. How about a little flute fun? If you're familiar with that song, it's Enigma's sad or sadness. It has a very famous, I believe the sample comes from an emulator, an emu emulator. I don't have it here on me right now, but I have something sort of similar. This is an Irish flute from the core collection. And it goes like, so this melody will sound familiar to you. Now the funny thing is, I've heard some people describe that flute in that Enigma track as being the most expressive they've ever heard. And the very, very amusing because it was, I think it was a single sample, not even multi sample. And it just happened to have that deep, chiffy exhale at the end of it. So as you move up, of course, it gets, it plays faster. But having that contributed a lot, that airy noise. And this, this patch doesn't have so much, but I'm gonna show you the thrust of this lesson, which is really getting good flute sorts of articulations. One of the rules, of course, is you can't play a chord in blocks. And a lot of flute patches will prevent you from doing this. Like in this one, if I try to play two notes, see, notice it cancels out the first it's monophonic, which means I can do something like this. <laughs> Ooh. It makes it easier to shred on a flute too. <laughs> Not that you necessarily want to go there. Another thing to remember, of course, is breath. You can only breathe so long, and if you don't have a breath controller, I do, I used to, I currently don't. I might get one again. But if you can map a controller, like the mod wheel. See, you can make it louder like Because in a real flute, you'd be varying the air pressure. You'd be blowing faster and harder. Flutes aren't just for band camps. And it helps, this is a good sound to begin with, but even in a lame one, you can make it more realistic this. Sometimes with the jazz flute, you can slip the blues notes like, see, like, just quickly. Let's do that a bit slower. Okay. So one more time slow. You can see the notes I'm playing. Okay. So combine with all that and very subtle amount of pitch band there, not a whole, but it adds character. Little detune. That's why in the world of auto tune, it's fun as auto tune, then you says there, it, if you lock your thing, if you quantize all your rhythms, it takes out that certain character. It's, I think it's good to have both sorts of things. So let's do a slow kind of solo, sort of a jazz bum, but isolated for your convenience. Have you ever seen Two Stupid Dogs on Cartoon Network? That's my mind was kind of going to that place. But in short, those are the principles. You just keep a, a nice feel. Imagine yourself bopping around, being a beatnik, a bohemian. Slip notes. Not all the time, but as part of flow. And if you can, map a mod wheel or another controller to amplitude so it gets louder. And cap it off with that pitch bend. And remember, uh, another one of my favorite time honored tricks, all black notes make Chinese music. Change from a swing rhythm to more straightforward.
And if you want Japanese music, just keep this in mind. F, A, and B. Sounds Japanese. And some of these Japanese flute patches are going at the end. Well, we can try a few more. We have all these sounds here. What does this one sound like? It's called Japan. What sound like that? Oh, in addition to flute, it has something else. So it's like, Master Sensei. Oh, you can make your own kung fu soundtrack. You've dishonored my father. Prepare to die. That's nice. Uh, Bansuri. Let's see what this is. As much as I like to concentrate on the single sound and get the most out of it, I like taking you for a tour. And let's see, Irish food. That's where we were before. Sounded not so Irish. Goes to show. Oh, this is very good. Brandy. That's very nice. Very, very nice. Persian nay, this may be more nasal. Okay, Arabian sort of mode. A, and then go up here. For all your sultans, a shakuhachi. This should be authentic Japanese. You can play straight rhythms, but a lot of the expressive flute stuff has a lot of the runs. Like that. And finally, a Turkish neigh. Let's see what this is about here. Oh, there's the Shakuhachi Mountain. There's a lot of sounds here. What's this sound like? Now this might be the uh, closer to Enigma one. Not quite, but, oh, and these get more esoteric. But anywho, Exhale in Paradise, what's this sound like? I think this is more experimental, perhaps? Oh yeah. Kind of early synthesizer pioneers. Or a Discovery Channel documentary. I can play chords in this one. Because it's more ether ethereal. Uh, I can keep exploring. We'll have to continue next time. But thanks for joining me. And this is how you get better flute articulations out of a piano style synth keyboard.